I think he's uh, back, trying to back down over here so he can get a run and out later. Prepping itself now for later. Hit it a little. Oh, he's popping out of four wheel drive. Four low. John's blazer is pretty heavy. He buried it pretty good. It snows deep down there. Going now. See if it helps. Are you? 
All right, looks like he's gonna have to winch. That's cold. It wasn't. I mean, it was. My head's just harder. He got really stuck. Hey, that's gonna break. All right, so winch wasn't enough pulling power. So now we've got what's called a snatch block and it just kind of doubles up the winch, gives it some extra anchorage. No, pulls better. This is the second time he's gotten stuck. This um, John, dad, papa, whatever. Um, so now he tried winching the trees, tried winching us, and now we're trying with the snatch block. So we'll see what happens. Slowly but surely. Getting it. Ugh. Stuck in that hole again from his front tires. Tightening it up again. Chest is just holding the brake in the in Ingrid. All right, and he's out. Sweet. Good morning, everybody. It's day two of our trip. As promised, here we are again. Aaron down. It's just me and my buddy Steven today. He got his Jeep on 37s. A couple people up here already started for the day. Um, they're not with us today, so it's just going to be us two. Everybody says it's impossible to get to Lake Philbrook today, so we're going to see if we can do it anyway. Um, I'm going to air down probably to start off at four pounds today. Uh, I ran in them at six yesterday and I think, I feel like I can go lower. So I'm going to air down to four and, uh, we'll see how we do. All right. We're in the snow. Air down. Nice and squatty. I just want to show you guys no beadlocks, right? No beadlocks. And we are, I think at four and a half pounds, five. So, no bead locks, five pounds. And the beads are taped up, so we'll see how they do. I'll let you guys know, you'll see. And I won't hide nothing. If I, if I lose a bead, you'll see. I'll let you know. This is about where we made it yesterday. We're already here. It's only about 10 o'clock in the morning. Um, we're, from now on, from here on out, it's gonna get a little hairy, I think. Um, I'll videotape down on the way to Philbrook, but we're going down to Philbrook, at least try. I heard there's a couple of holes up here that are about the size of a car. So um, we'll see if we can get through it. I, apparently a guy yesterday on 46 has had to winch out and couldn't make it through. So we're gonna give it a shot. At least uh, videotape it, see if we can get stuck, get ourselves out of there. Might have to hook up the winch today if, if things go bad. Um, the tires still sitting at four and a half pounds, squatting good, starting to crease a little bit. You know the footprint's nice and wide everybody i i'm sorry i said you guys were all wrong because these skinnier irox do way better than the fun countries a little windy out here so sorry bear with me if you can't hear me very well i just wanted to take a walk down this bridge real quick and show you why we like to come up here um this is like it's just it's the easiest way for us to kind of just forget and let go and and you know kind of have a reset and just realize that not everything's about working your life away you know you need to come up and do things like this and just spend some time quality time with your friends and your family doing the things you love because life's too short i mean look at this this is freaking amazing 
I absolutely love it. In the summertime, we'll come down over there. Um, we'll camp down over there. There's a couple camp benches and stuff. Uh, we love it. It's it's awesome over here. Um, it, it literally is. This is like some of the best best times of our lives. And just being able to be around stuff like this, there's nothing like it. So before coming up here today, I was told by my dad from a third party that this trip uh, may get may get cut short. Um, they said that there was a bit of a hole, and you know, I, I, yeah, I'm just gonna show you guys. I, I can't talk about it. It's a fucking hole, and it's a big hole. And on top of that, who knows how deep that water is. Putting a seatbelt on. <laughs> <laughs> I went, I went, I went no seat belt. That's a big hole. We all pack up. <laughs> <laughs> that wasn't a hole. Oh. That was nothing. <laughs> I like almost want to go stand in it to just show how deep it is. But I don't want to get in it. <laughs> yeah, that, he's only what six foot two, and you only can see the top half of you from the from the snow. Uh, I'm on my side. This is the most tilted we've ever been. Yeah, it didn't flip, but if that snow bank wasn't there, we might have. Might have. That was scary. I didn't. Know, I don't know how that happened. We got sucked into the ditch. Yeah, it's a deep ditch. Fuck, that's a big ass hole. I'll show you guys when I get out. Yeah, we're good. Um, yeah, I'm in a hole. <laughs> That's a good one. Scared the wife a bit, scared me a bit, went a lot farther over and I kind of thought it was gonna really front was tires gonna off the ground. I just caught the edge, caught the edge a little bit and uh, okay. sucked me in, yeah. I'm gonna have to steer into it and drive all the way into it and then drive up through. I, I'm gonna have to have Steven try to pull me because I don't have my winch hooked up. Yeah. Talk all you want, girl. <laughs> this is deserving of it. Although, easy entry. <laughs> Perfect. It's like level. It's heavy. All right, want me to hold your door? No. <laughs> okay. No. He's got it, okay? It's fine. This way. It's not a big... <laughs> Not a thing. Let me go up. 
<laughs> it wasn't a bow, it was just a fall. <laughs> a sink. <laughs> That's fine. Nothing happened. <laughs> yeah, we really did a really good educational commentary for you. That's deep. That is deep. I see too. It's about four feet. So you. My feet. Two of me. I only got two feet. <laughs> Your one tire is a little. Alright everybody, this is what we do it for. All that flopping the blazer on its side to go see this lake. It was just a small creek cliff side flip. But the 42s, oh, you guys are alright. I've said it like three times, but so these tires are down at like three pounds right now. Wrinkled like hell. Um pretty much no air in them. I got five or six wraps, or I think about five wraps of Gorilla Tape on the bead. and I've had zero problems. They're still holding three and a half air. Obviously, I had some problems. I fell off the fucking road. That's not what I mean by no problems. But as far as tire-wise, even stuffed into that ditch, even getting yanked out with a kinetic rope, the tires are still on the bead, and they still have the same pressure I put in them. So for a cheap way to help your tire set on your bead, the freaking the Gorilla Tape on the safety bead, is, it's awesome. I couldn't be happier. Um, also, this is my first time running 17s, so maybe ha that has a part to do with it. And the bald eye rocks, they're narrow, but God, they work. Damn, they work good. So my next set, even though I said I was probably gonna get the 43 TSLs, um, I think some 42 eye rocks on some either Stazworks double bead locks or just some recentered H1 double bead locks is gonna be the route to go. Um, and once I have that, I mean, this thing will go pretty much anywhere. Can't wait. Hope to get some new IROX as soon as I can and those double bead locks because this thing, it's a monster. I'm super happy with it. On its side, still running, going good. And this thing, this thing's an absolute tank. Just keeps on going. That's what we like, man. This is what we come up here for, everybody. Go up here where nobody else can go. Go up here where... You know, like, look at this. That's the only bit of the lake left that's not frozen. Uh, the rest of the lake is all snow covered. There's uh, the dam. That's probably why the spillway right there letting water out. But the rest of it's all frozen. But, like, not many people can say that they can come up here. You know, not many people can hop in a rig and and just go, go here. Look at that. That has to be... Let's zoom in a little. Sorry about that. That has to be eight feet of snow on that snow bank right there. Easy. And we're we're up here in these. Just going. Nothing stopping us. Not even flipping the blazer on its side for a little bit. Uh, just yep. He replaced his winch line. Um, wasn't quite enough to pull us out. However, with the kinetic rope, man. Four solid pulls with that kinetic rope. I had to dig out the front end of the blazer both times. But four solid pulls with that kinetic rope when we were out. And that was a pretty hairy situation. So if you guys are thinking about getting a kinetic rope, um, I'm actually sponsored by Yankum. So if you want to use discount code Ingrid for any Yankum Ropes product, saves you 10% at checkout. Um, and other than that, man, I mean, go off-roading, people. Spend your time. Spend your weekends. Make memories with your friends because... It's nothing like it. Hell yeah. You gonna make it? I think he's gonna need a yank doodle. I should really work on my singing. Yeah, yank him rope. That's what we need right now. Yank him right out of there. Don't mind me, we're yanking. Guy guys in my seat. That's rude.
We did it. Yeah, 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 we did it. Ah! Northern truck might pull back. Yeah, I will. All right. Ooh. I just sunk. Out of the sun. I'm hiding. Oh my god. God damn it. Okay. Alright. It's a beautiful day. What's wrong? My man. Beautiful day of wheeling. Man. Another person at home. He is pretty sideways too, like we were. She's giving her all she's got, Captain. I think we got this. Alright, I'm gonna do bungee again, so I'm hiding behind a tree again for my safety. And uh, we'll see how this thing goes. Yank it up without a yank them. back up closer and we're gonna try to bungee at a different angle um because it's not working so he's just stuck Cheap things. It, well, apparently, apparently the road just falls off over here. I know. Yeah. It don't look like nothing, but that's got to be, from where I'm standing, that's eight, eight feet down. That's probably eight feet down. Huh? Is that a Turbo 1000 I spy? Lurking through the woods in its natural habitat. The Turbo 1000. Is he gonna make it? Of course he will.
the tape locks the tape on the beads worked great but this one went flat honestly though hella cool the tire didn't come off the bead yeah it went flat because it burped some air i was yanking on his truck hella hard i'm sure the the rim probably spinned inside the tire uh which caused it to lose air but i mean it's taking air so it never popped off the bead it stayed on um did its job so I'm, I'm super pleased super happy gonna air up to six to get us back out of here and then we'll air back up at the top but i just wanted to show you guys because i'm not hiding nothing here like my tire went flat completely flat and it stayed on the bead and i'm able to air it back up so the the irox love them tape on the bead love it saved my ass don't have to be out here with ether setting the bead everything's good there so We'll just air them up and head back down.
I got too close to the ditch and it just sucked me in and I went dropped like eight feet and flopped it on its side. Yeah, Bronco power. Oh, go Teven. Go Teven. Get it.